Greetings, everyone. Before I started this video, these words came to my mind. Purpose cannot die. And, you know, I get the feeling that I'm supposed to say that to remind people who are going through whatever situation in life, especially if people are coming up against you spiritually. Just remember that their intention to destroy purpose will not prevail. But at the same time, we can't live in denial. Now, to my friends, you know when I come with a video giving you instruction as to what to do, you know that there's more to the story. You know that there's always that rebellious spirit in me that wants to hold back. And then there's that little bit of apprehension about how the message is going to be received. It is what it is. I still struggle with thinking about how I will deliver any message and uh, sometimes get caught up with who's going to receive it. I usually get over that. Now, in yesterday's a video, a message to Grace Hamilton, here's the reason why I gave her that instruction. In a vision, I saw Grace on a stadium, or sorry, on a platform in a packed stadium, people. The crowd was vast. And all I could see, the room or the stadium itself was in darkness, except for lighters. The people all had lighters lit and holding it above their heads, where you could see a sea of people, but you couldn't really see their faces. And on the stage, Grace Hamilton was performing, but she was moving across the stage like a spirit. Her feet didn't touch the ground. She was just floating and she was wearing white from top to bottom. And as she stood there performing for the crowd, they were roaring, they were screaming. They were so receptive towards her. She held them. They were mesmerized by her and the lighter flickering on and off. Then all of a sudden this floodlight came on her and she was illuminated. This is a vision. And I'm choosing not to do any interpretation of that vision right now. But I want to say to her, if you know me, Gracie, you know, I might come across as enough as I've been accused. But let me tell you something. I am far from that. Anyone knows me knows that I'm a very private person, a person who doesn't like to be in crowd, a person who feel most comfortable being by myself. Therefore, I would never come here to say these things to seek attention because that's not who I am. This dream is very significant and it have a dual meaning. But as I was about to begin, the voice said, purpose cannot die. And so I want to say, please understand the power of words. When you open your mouth and you speak, the words ascend. They don't fall to the ground. Okay, now in our in alchemy, we are told as things exist above, it exists below. And people understand the power that they hold. Some people understand, especially people who delve in magic and understand the things of the underworld. They know the power of speaking, casting spell is words, okay, breaking down strongholds is words. Whatever you do to create, you know, um, the reality you want, it's words. That's why in the Bible, it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the word was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the earth. And God said, and in the evening and the morning was the first day, God said. So it's your words ascending into the heavens and as is the intention comes down the reality. 
So because of that, because you have purpose, because the, the universe is open to all of us using our gifts or various gifts to do what is in our intention, we have to always cleanse our air, um, aura. We have to protect ourselves. We don't have to delve into darkness or into black magic or any of those things. You pray and, and you're a praying woman. So even though they see you on stage opening your legs and, uh, and, and, and doing all kinds of stuff because you're saying, I'm doing this for my children. But listen, the time is now. And, you know, God has big plans for you. Uh, but you have a lot of enemies. Not just people who say, I don't like you. Because as they say, I don't like you, they're opening their mouth and they're saying horrible things that will manifest in the realms of the spirit. This is why you have to protect yourself by going into that seven-day fast. And if you follow the instructions, what people mean for evil, God will use it for good. Do not ignore those words to say, well, this person spoke this, I'm ignoring him, don't, or her. Do not ignore them as they say the thing, catch it and throw it back as the person opened their mouth and said, this is going to happen to you. And it's a negative thing. You reject that. You bind that up with your words. You return it. You return it. And sometimes that means it's hard work just constantly catching these things and returning them. But you have the power to do so. You have the power to take what is meant to be evil in your life, cast it to the four corners of the earth. But you also have to do this thing. And understand that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And so in the genre of dance hall, you can choose to remain there if you wish. But now you have this great responsibility to use your gifts and your blessings right there. To draw people, to draw them closer, to be responsible in what you present and I know we should be raising other people but listen people love you and you can be used in any environment for good it just depends on your own choice you float on that on that stage like a spirit and let me tell you God's grace is sufficient for you there's nothing to fear they are real enemies, real warlocks that intend to do harm to you. And we don't want to say, oh, I am covered and, you know, I don't have to worry. I don't want you to worry. I want you to be wise. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. And as you rebuke these negative uh, comments or negativity coming towards you and sometimes this negative energy manifests themselves in your health in your body while people are off doing horrible things it will manifest in your body so it's where cleansing and prayer and fast and your dedication to the most high is important do not ignore. So you don't become obsessed with what people are saying, but you do not ignore the negative comments. You ignore them, not by addressing them, because they don't have to know you are seeing them or hearing them. But you, you address it in the realms of the spirit. The Bible is there for the purpose. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the scriptures. And there are many in the Psalms alone that you could use to rebuke these demons and in the same psalms to protect yourself protect your energy protect your children surround yourself with positive people 
Surround yourself with prayer warriors. Surround yourself with people who are gifted, with prophetic word, gifted, with discernment. Create a new team around yourself. It is essential so that as you go even through medical processes, you pray that the hand of the persons who touch you are healing. Stay blessed.